Hey what's up guys, I've been playing a bit of Ghost Recon Wildlands As you can see my choppers are a bit damaged It's because there are some choppers behind me But I'm going to make this video and showing you the night sky Of course in this game because I think it looks really really beautiful um, As you can see there's Bol Bolivia beneath us With the nice little lights of course from every car uh, Or from the houses And we're just going to skydive down to the objective just to show you how beautiful these controls are and how beautiful it looks if you ask me. It's raining a bit as you can see. There's also some bad weather so some thunder as well. Uh, I don't believe we can get hit by it. Luckily. <laughs> um, and by the way skydiving into an objective like this it's really really useful during night time but and in the easier areas of the game it is possible to do it but for the later areas it's obviously going to be very very different because they will have anti-aircraft systems and they will just shoot you out of the air um, because this video is obviously about skies so let's take to the skies again and I really really like it how you can just fly around freely in this game how beautiful it looks I've heard some complaints online uh, about people saying the controls aren't too good but if you, are, if you ask me, if you get used to these controls I even like them more than the GTA 5 controls because I think these are just so so good and um, they like to do so much it just takes a while to get a hang of it of course but I've played a lot in the beta and the alpha so that helps and if you have done that or if you play a bit in the normal game when it's out I think like one, two, three days maximum you will get a hang of these controls and you will be very very good with this and the flying and um, the driving as well will feel really really smooth and good so yeah as you can see we are flying the plane by the way to, uh, to, our rebel, to the rebel base we are going to have to steal it for them but, and they will have these improvised airfields this time on top of a mountain I'm not sure what this uh, this airfield is going to look like. I haven't been there yet. So, yeah. I really, really like the shining of the moonlight as well on the wings of my plane, of course. It's even more shining because of the rain, because it's wet now. Um, and I really, really like the effect, of course. Same goes for the driving, by the way. Driving on dry um, sand or when it's not raining is really, really different and driving um, when it's raining becomes muddier, becomes slippier and um, so I really really like that okay we're going to have to line up for the airfield so let's make a little turn to have to fly low here and stop really really fast because it was a very short um, landing zone mm. yep we made it nice so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time.